Hello and welcome to this introductory overview on the Easy Album Toolbox. My name is Kevin, I'm the creator and developer, and I'll be your guide throughout this video demonstration. The Easy Album Toolbox is a plugin for Photoshop that allows you to place your images into a layout very, very quickly and easily. Certainly much quicker than you could do it with Photoshop by itself. And with the addition of the Easy Album Toolbox, it allows us to be a lot more flexible in our design work when working with any of our fully automated templates, such as the Picto Design Gallery Volume 1 and also the brand new Picto Design Gallery Volume 2. Now, the Easy Album Toolbox is only available currently when you purchase the Picto Design Gallery Volume 2. So this is part of that template package. Now the Easy Album Toolbox should not be confused with the Easy Album Design software you see on our website. There's just a couple of tools in the toolbox that we need to make our album design process a lot easier here inside Photoshop. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the options in the toolbox and see what that offers us. First and foremost, let's open up the Easy Album Toolbox here in Photoshop CS5. And when I click on the Create New Document tool, that will bring open a dialog box. And what we've done here with our new document tool within the Easy Album Toolbox is we have, first of all, different categories of presets. and all of the albums offered by iBind Designs, we've created a preset for you. So you don't have to create that yourself, as well as all the presets for PictoBooks. And if you're not familiar with the PictoBooks, you can visit their website at PictoBooks.com. That's P-I-C-T-O Books.com. Really beautiful books. Very high end, but very, very beautiful. Um, and then lastly, we have all the presets for every product that White House Custom Color offers. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with White House, they're a photographic lab originally based out of Minnesota, but now they have branches in California and Texas and other locations. But all of the templates that we sell here at, Pic at Pixel Creator Pro, um, while we call them album templates, they're really not specific to albums. You can actually use the templates for any type of layout that you're doing, and even more so with the Picto Design Gallery Volume 2, uh, with the way those templates work, um, some of the different flexibility that you have. So you could certainly use one of our templates one of our album templates and create a beautiful looking gallery wrap just by choosing one of the gallery wrap presets and one of our templates and going ahead and populating that layout with your images. You, we also give you the ability to create your own presets so if you're working with specific uh, album companies uh, you'll be able to create and save your own presets as well. Now what's specifically unique about the new document tool here in the Easy Album Toolbox is we can create new document presets but also have all the guideline information that we require as part of that preset. In Photoshop we can create new document presets but we can't have the guideline information uh, as part of that uh, new document preset. Go back in here. Um, the other option we have is the Easy Place feature. Um, now this is really the heart of the Easy Album Toolbox which allows us to place our images within our layouts very very quickly and easily. And this Easy Place feature actually works with not only our templates but with any other template out there in the marketplace. So if you purchased a template for work with Photoshop you'll be able to use our Easy Place feature to actually place your images in that layout. Now let me show you how it works. So we have a layout here that we did in the first part of the instructional video on working with the Picto Design Gallery Volume 2 templates. And I need to switch out this middle image opening because I've created the layout, I've presented it to the client, the client loves it, but prefers a different image here in the middle. So rather than go through all the steps involved in doing that ourselves in Photoshop, we'll use the Easy Place feature. So I'm going to come into Bridge and I'm going to select a different image for that opening back over to Photoshop and choose Easy Place. Now what's going to happen here is one of those image openings in the layout is going to be turned red and it says do I want to use Bridge to select an image? No, because I don't want to populate this layout but rather than say no I'm going to choose the Skip feature. 
and I'm going to skip that one. And then when the middle image opening turns red, then we're going to populate yes. And it's going to take that image I selected in bridge, resize it for this image opening, and that's all there is to it. And we have one more image layer in this layout, so we'll say skip. And there we have it. So that middle image opening has now been replaced. Pretty simple and easy to do. Now, once we have our layouts created, one of the things that we're going to have to do is we're going to choose our prep for print tool. So let's go ahead and do that. And what we're going to do here is we're going to save it to the desktop. We're going to split this layout vertically and we're going to export as a JPEG. And when we go here, into bridge actually let's yeah, yeah let's go into bridge go to our desktop there will be a folder called prints and in here you can see that we actually split that layout into two pieces so it flattened our PSD file and just split the layout in two ready for ordering now not every single album uh, the design that we do or album that we create are we going to have to split it in half let's go back into our prep for print tool so we could choose the copy image and it'll just flatten the image and give us an entire 10 by 20 spread or whatever the case is. We, and so that prep for print tool is a very, very handy tool indeed. Now the last thing we should talk about is about converting a third party template and using the easy place feature because remember I said any template can be uh, populated with that easy place feature but in order to be able to use easy place we have to convert a template so I'm going to open up this graphic authority template here and all I did was I selected the four image openings within the graphic authority template and then I'm going to come into the easy album toolbox and push this little button right here which is our convert template tool and that will convert this template into a format where easy album will be able to read the image openings of the template and populate it with images. So once I've converted the template, then we'll use Easy Place. And just like in our template, it turns one of the images red, and then we'll come in here and we'll select an image, and then we'll say yes to use Bridge to populate. That's usually the the one step where people make the mistake is that they say yes before actually selecting their image in Bridge. Then it moves on to the next image opening. We'll select another one here. Then choose yes. And we could go on and populate it one by one if we wanted to, or we can select more than one image at a time as well. So here I'm going to come into Bridge, and I'm going to actually select a couple of images here. So we'll select this one, and then this one, and then choose Yes. And you'll see it'll populate the first image. And then it'll automatically move on to the next image. So even if we're absolutely Photoshop magician, we simply could not do uh, the work that we're doing here with the Easy Place feature, you, doing it manually in Photoshop because there's just too many steps involved. And here you can see we have a great layout that's so super simple and easy um, to populate using that Easy Place feature. So one last thing to kind of show you, just kind of recap um, on, on using that Easy Place feature. When we go into our templates here, let's go into our sample templates and let's just make a selection first of all and let's drop in a template so that is our first part it asks us if we're going to populate I'm going to say no I'm then going to modify this template image opening drag it out a little bit take our two shape layers and we're going to stretch those out as well I think this text layer was we'll just go ahead and get rid of it and then let's take a look at maybe adding something over here I don't know what 
But let's go back into our templates here and let's maybe choose this template. So we're just kind of experimenting more or less. And I'm going to say I'm not going to insert images because I want to further manipulate what I've got going on here. So I'm actually going to just take this image opening. I'm going to resize it to something a little bit more manageable. And this one I'm just going to delete. And you know what? I'm going to just going to duplicate this one. So you can see we've created something very different than what we started with. But we can still use that easy place feature. And this is probably what is the most exciting portion of this is that once we've made these changes to this layout that we want to make, we could still populate it. In the earlier version of the Picture Design Gallery, we had no way to manipulate the layout and then populate it automatically. And so now we have that option. So I choose easy place after I've made my modifications and then I can go ahead and go about populating the layout with my images. So we'll just select an image here and we'll say yes to use bridge. And there is our first image. And then it automatically is going to move on to our next image opening, which I'll come back into Bridge and select our next image. And of course, we can flip it horizontally. We can move it with our arrow keys, whatever changes we need to make. And then, of course, we just have the one last image opening. So we'll have one more image here. Say yes to populate it. And you can see we have a great looking, totally custom layout just by taking two templates, bringing them together, doing a little bit of manipulation, and we have a wonderful looking layout. Now, as I'm doing this layout, I want to just kind of get your mind thinking. Let's do one more uh, kind of quirky thing. What if I'm working with this layout and I decide I want to make one more addition? Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to duplicate an existing layer with an existing image opening, like so. And what I want to do here is I want to actually populate just that one layer with a texture file. So all I'm going to do is go back in and choose that easy place feature again. And see that one image has been turned now? So I'm going to just come in here and grab a texture file and say yes to populate it. My texture will be added. And then it'll move on to the next image opening, which, of course, we're going to choose that skip feature. So we're not going to populate that one, that one, or that one. So see how we can kind of design right there on the fly, make all those changes, and it's really, really super simple. So I think you're really going to love that new Easy Place feature with your existing Picture Design Gallery Volume 1. And of course, with the new Pick Design Guy Volume 2, because it's going to offer you a lot more creative options. Plus, we're able to populate any template or any layout that we already have on our computer with that Easy Place feature. So, thank you for watching. Bye now.